Hello everyone, this is Jordan from PineXL.com and today I'm going to show you how to use and update our project management template. In this template, no macros or add-ins have been used, which means that it can be used by anyone even by less advanced users. Also, the file is completely unlocked so that you could adapt it according to your specific needs. When first opening the template, you will notice the overall layout. It looks almost like a standalone application and not like an Excel workbook. The sheet tabs have been hidden. To go through the different pages, the navigation pane on the left is used. The first menu is the dashboard. There, an overview of the current project status is given. On the top you have a chart showing at which phase the project is. Then you have a general information about the project's start and end dates, as well as days to go live and overall duration. Underneath, a donut chart represents the overall progress. This measures the completion rate of all tasks and subtasks. Next to it, a timeline chart is available. At the bottom, a donut chart showing the percentage of spent budget can be seen, as well as the total budget and total amount spent in terms of values. On the right, there is a task status and priority chart, and next to it, counters for any task overdue or over budget. The next menu is the Gantt chart. Here an advanced dynamic Gantt chart is available. In it you can switch between two different views, planned and actual. In the actual view, the actual completion rate of the different tasks is represented in the bars and in the axis values. In the bars of the Gantt chart you can see the start date of each task, as well as number of days until completion. The grid lines of the chart make it easy to distinguish between days and weeks. You can also switch on and off a line showing today's date. Above the Gantt chart, there are counters for the number of tasks and subtasks, as well as a bar chart showing the overall completion rate. The user can filter the Gantt chart based on priority and status, making it easy to see the right information. The next view is the budget and costs. The chart here shows each task as well as the respective budget and spent amount. If the task is over budget, the bar will be colored red. Moreover, a percentage for the actual versus budget is available in the axis under the bars. At the top there is a chart showing the overall budget spent in terms of percentage and actual values. Here you also have different filter options. The next view is the team. Here you have different charts which show the volume of tasks and subtasks assigned to each team member, as well as the respective completion rates. At the bottom there is an actual versus budget chart, like the one on the previous sheet. However, here we can see the budget and spent amount for each team member. We can also filter per team members. Next, we have the data input sheets. The first one is for the tasks. Here the basic task information should be added. The attributes for the tasks are responsible person, priority level, start and end dates, both planned and actual, as well as a budget. All other attributes are calculated automatically from this information or based on the subtasks data. The completion rate for a task, for example, is calculated based on the completion level of all underlying subtasks. The actual cost is also taken from the subtasks cost. If there are no subtasks for a specific main task, you can simply override the formulas. The next sheet is for the subtasks. Here a subtask can be assigned to a main task. A subtask has a responsible person, priority level, status and cost. As already mentioned, the status controls the completion level not only for the subtask but also for the main task. This means that when a subtask becomes completed, the overall completion rate of the main task is changed and indeed the overall completion rate of the whole project. The same principle is used with the cost. The next sheet is the settings. Here you can add holidays which will be excluded from the number of working days. Next, the table for the timeline chart can be found. After that, the chart for the different statuses. Here you can edit them or add your own. The next chart is where you control the phases. After that, priority levels can be changed or added. Here is also where the team members are found. In the end, you have the option of selecting a weekend index, if the weekend in your country is not Saturday and Sunday. Note that this is the only place in the document where you will have to change and add this master data. For example, after you add a new team member, it will automatically appear in all charts and calculations. The final sheet in the template is with detailed instructions. Now let's see how we can add a new task. 
First, we will start by adding a new team member. The cells in grey are formulas, which feed the charts on the previous sheets. They are updated automatically after the name is added. While we are here, we are also going to update the milestone and phases charts. Next, we will go to the data input sheet and add the new task. From the drop-down menu, we will assign our new team member which is now automatically available here. Let's also add the priority level, dates and a budget. Make sure all calculations in the grey cells are expanded as expected. Good. Now let's go to the subtasks. For our new task, we will add two subtasks. Assign the responsible person, priority level, status and the cost until now. And this is it. All calculations now should be updated. If we go to the dashboard, we will see that the status chart is changed. We have a new milestone in the timeline chart, all rates are changed and a new high priority task has appeared in the task status and priority chart. In the Gantt chart, the new task has appeared as well. Since none of the subtasks are yet completed, the completion percentage is zero. The new task and team member are also available in the Budget and Costs menu, as well as in the Team view. And if we change one of the subtasks to completed and increase the cost so that we are over the budget, we will see how this will be displayed in all charts. As you can see, it is very easy to work with this template. At the same time, it provides valuable information which is presented in an engaging, dynamic and informative way. So don't hesitate to download your copy today. Make project management easy and fun for the whole team. Don't forget that this dashboard is completely unlocked and no macros or add-ins have been used. If you like this, make sure to check out our website and YouTube channel for more dynamic Excel dashboards and templates. This was Jordan from PineXL.com. Thank you very much for watching.